Right, so if you want to talk about insane, overbuilt, heavy-duty wrecker, check this thing out. Looks like that boom can flip back up around the other way and kind of tangle of heavy braided winches, guardwood winches on this one. Get your torch bottles. This thing is insane. I've seen pictures of this before. So, tank of gas, but chassis is heavy enough to handle this body, or this wrecker. Heister, winches there, this thing is insane. Have you guessed yet? Nineteen thirty-six auto car. There goes my breakfast. Pretty cool. Parked next to this really nice GMC. And these survivor peats. If I had these trucks, I'd never do anything to them. Just keep the uh, patina, I suppose. True survivors. We'll just take a stroll of this line. Commentary unnecessary. Check out this fleet. Lemons Trucking, Longview, Washington. I know this uh, Transtar 4300's rocking a Detroit. I mean, these trucks are beautiful. West Coaster, International West Coaster. Really, really beautiful trucks. Certainly a design style that has survived the test of time. And I think shows it's possible to sort of have these older trucks and put some decent sized stacks or chrome on them and they can look pretty good. 
Not that I'm a fan of doing that, but it can be done tastefully. So what do you think about this 1956 Kenworth CBE? I've seen these in pictures before, I've never really seen one in person. I don't remember the exact uh, logic for why the cab was to the side. It was something to do about, you know, driver visibility. One of those ideals that seemed like they were good, but just never caught on. This one is interesting though, because I've only really seen these as tractors. This is a single axle dump. And uh, this rear end is really interesting looking. But these are the type of trucks that I seem to like the most. These just survivors. beat up. This gives you an idea of how many years they were out there being used. Mud flaps look pretty good though. And back to my earlier point about West Coast trucking. This is a truck that I don't think ever made it out to the east in any sizable quantity at all. As you recall, Auto Car tried a similar style. Cap offset severely. Once again, just never seemed to really catch fire. So for some reason I'm getting the idea that uh, when these were set up as tractors they were designed to be like slip seat operations. So basically the truck drives as long as the driver is, can or is allowed to, pulls into a terminal, fuel it up, check a few things. One driver is out, other driver in, and you go. Don't need to waste any time on a sleeper or any of that driver comfort nonsense.